princess in my Just try my coffee. Perfect. Have a little reading update. That's not much of one, but I did start this last night in the dark. I only got to chapter two. Uh, the end of chapter one was very creepy. A person, wa a person rolled up in a black hearse, blacked out windows, staring at our two main characters, which their names are Kit and Ring. We need to see what's going to happen in this, video, in this book. But this is my courage point. Read a book in the dark. It technically doesn't say finish a book in the dark. But because I'm so creepy. Ending of a chapter. I think I'll just continue to read this in the dark. Um, I will pick up my other book that I'm supposed to be reading. Which is... The secret bedroom. I'll be picking this up today. If I could begin to be half of what you think of me, I could do about anything. I could even learn how to love. When I see the way you act, wondering when I'm coming back, I could do about anything. I could even learn how to love. What you think of me I could do about anything I could even learn How to love Hey friends Don't mind this I'm moving as y'all know Um so last night During the only sprint that we did To read Darren Jen's sprint I got 17 pages into The secret bedroom So this is interesting so far it's about a girl named leah she keeps moving from place to place to place because her dad keeps getting transferred from jobs and she ends up in Shadyside, Fear Street. um she ends up tripping in the lunchroom spilling a bowl of chili in this popular girl sweater and her popular girl's boyfriend ends up asking her out and she tells the only friend she has there and she just warns her she's like stay clear of them because they're nasty people that's what i've gotten to so far oh and they toured their house and she found a weird creepy room which is this one don't open it the room and then I read a few more chapters into this, so yeah. I'm going to count this for my courage prompt, and I will yeah. be morphing it off in the next clip to show you. Okay. Okay, y'all, this is a bingo board, so I'm going to be getting this. Happy pages, if I can get it up. Hmm. Get another happy face because my son wanted that one. And I will be putting it on courage. Read a book in the dark because it doesn't say finish a book in the dark, and I'm counting that. I've read Monster Street twice in the dark. So. Say hello, you guys. Hello. <laughs> okay, so I just finished Monster Street Carnival, the third book in the Ew. series. Okay, so. <laughs> and, um, <laughs> it was a really good book. I thoroughly enjoyed it. It's set around Halloween time. So if you're looking for. If you're looking for a uh, Halloween book to read, kids. or have your kids read a Halloween book, I would recommend this. It was very interesting, very creepy and eerie, super atmospheric. Um, is that your kicks?
<laughs> oh, you're so silly, Bob. Um, I'm getting insane. What? There's scary and Scary and hairy? How is this hairy? Oh, eerie. Are you trying to say eerie? Oh. <laughs> Why are you whispering? I'm leaving all this in. <laughs> so why are you whispering? I, anyways, five out of five for sure. Hands hands down. Five out of five. I will definitely be rereading this for sure. It was a very good book. Um, yeah. I don't know what else to say. So the next book I'm going to pick up is The Secret Bedroom, Fear Street by Stein. Uh, I'll let you know whenever I pick it up, doing an update then. Hello friends, you see all this? My son was playing, so his toys are out. I'll pick it up later. Uh, cause if I pick it up now, he's just gonna re-destroy it, so I'll just pick it up later. And yes, you see Blue's Clues in the background. No, I'm not recording Blue's Clues. It's just me. Um, here to tell you, I made it 32% in- a uh, 32%? 32 pages into the secret bedroom. So, what's happened so far is Leah was waiting for Don to come pick her up because he asked her out, obviously. And... Uh, he never showed up, so she called his house, and his mom's like, well, she, he went out with Marcy. Are you sure he, you got the right number? Maybe you got the wrong number. Maybe you got the wrong Dawn, blah, blah, blah. She's like, oh, yeah, maybe. She sat in her room for a few more seconds, and then she called Marcy's house. And Marcy's like, ha, 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 I told him to do this. He was only doing it because I told him to do it as a joke. I can't believe you believed him type of thing, you know? And... Leah's like, no, 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 he didn't do this. No, he it wasn't a joke. No, he didn't listen to Marcy type of thing. Like, she's in denial. And, uh, she fell asleep, and she heard, like, footsteps above her head. And above her head is the attic, and there's not supposed to be anybody in there. And, uh, obviously there's something inside that room. She got told, her and her parents got told that a room that's upstairs in the attic that's boarded up, someone was murdered in there. So, they're like, whoa, 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 okay, whatever. Um, throwback to, uh, she had to go find a phone book to find, to call Dawn and call Marcy. So, so throwback to phone books, because no one uses those anymore. I don't even think they distribute phone books anymore, which is crazy. Um, but I am absolutely loving this. I'm gonna pick it up, uh, pretty soon. I'm going to do my daily uh, Animal Crossing, and then I'm going to pick this up and read and see how far I go. I do know Jen is probably doing sprints, so I should hop on those. We'll see what happens. Okay, bye. Hey, y'all. So, you can probably hear Jen. Sprints are still going. They're just talking on their chat right now. just want to update that I'm still reading The Secret Bedroom. I am currently on page 71 about to be on so, chapter nine um this is getting really good so far so leah was home alone because her parents yeah, were at a party and she started I hearing weird things again inside that room so she went to go check and like blood started pouring down from the uh top of the door and she like freaked like girl i would have freaked too get the hell out of there what the fuck are you doing type of thing don't call the police don't don't do nothing she calls her best friend I mean, me, personally, I wanted to call my best friend. I would have got the hell out of there. Like, deuces, yeah, I'm gone. Convincing my parents can move. Definitely like, that's some crazy ass shit. Yeah, the um, wow, but okay. And then her friend came and her friend's like, maybe it was just a dream. You said you were laying on your bed, right? That's, that's, that's where her friend comes to conclusion. And before her friend got there, Leah decided to call the police. Oh, just like a crazy yeah, stuff. And then she's at home. Search. She's at home again yeah, by herself on a Saturday myself. night. And Don calls and he's like, hey, meet me at this pizza place. Maybe we go see a movie. She gets to the pizza place. Marcy's there with him. So, like, there's like this freaking Let's drama between her and Marcy. Right, I want to know what's going to happen between her and Marcy and Don, to be honest. Um, 
she almost opened this door so i'm i'm hoping she opens the door i mean she looks like she's opening it here so i really want to see if she opens the door and to see what's behind the door if there's like a skeleton or something in there or what's inside that door inside that room i want to know um so i'm definitely need to keep reading today maybe possibly finish this because there's not that many uh pages in this book like 167 so i basically just have this chunk right here which i could probably finish today it is currently 12 12 right now so yeah but i will check in later when i have another update on this reading so, hey friends i did pick that up a little bit but as i said he destroyed it again so yeah um but i just finished the secret bedroom that's upside down the secret bedroom by rl stein fear street i'm going to give this a four out of five it was very good very interesting i kind of guessed the plot twist of what was happening in here um very different from an stein uh i really really enjoyed it though like uh, Leah's character was very um, cool and she was outgoing and she didn't want to take any crap for no one, especially that Marcy chick. So that was that. Um, I've just been listening to this as a, uh, as a, uh, ambiance room. It's a, a Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild ambiance. Uh, but this was very good. I loved it so much. Not one of my favorite Fear Streets, but a really good Fear Street. And um, I'm going to get off here. I'm actually going to pick my next reads. But before that, we're going to mark off the bingo board. So let's switch over to the bingo board. Okay, y'all, this is the bingo board. So this knocks off 90s horror read, a 90s horror author. So let's uh, do that. This also knocks off Clueless, read a book with teenage drama. Totally knocks that off because there's a lot of teenage drama in that book. Let's see what else it would knock off. Uh, that's all it knocks off. So as you can see, I'm still super close to a bingo here, 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 and this way. So I will get a bingo sooner or later. I promise y'all. So let's switch to uh, picking our next reads. All right, y'all. We're gonna pick our next reads. So let's spin this wheel. I'm gonna pick two books out of here. So, let's see what they're going to be. A Dead and Stormy Night. And what's the next book going to be? Franklin. Alright, so let's get those two books out so you can see the covers and figure out what they're going to be. I did not mean to hit the... Spinner wheel. Alright, so our next books are going to be A Dead and Stormy Night, which is like a paranormal romance um, kind of set around an Edgar Allan Poe themed library. So, yeah, gonna love that. And then Franklin Fibs is also the next read we're going to do. So, I will prither, prither, what the hell, I swell, swell, oh my god, I can speak English, I promise y'all. So, um, I'm gonna either start one of these tonight, or just, um, start them tomorrow we'll see what happens but i think princess is doing sprints if not then i'll just do my own type of little sprints uh by myself so talk to you tomorrow good morning my friends so last night i read franklin fibs to my son he loved it he was laughing especially the part where uh, uh where is it Right here, where Franklin was trying to eat the flies. 
because he tells his friends, <laughs> Bear, Hawk, and Beaver, that he could eat 76 flies in the blink of an eye, and he can't do that. And he was battling, talking to his parents, saying, I can do this, and they said yes, but if you do that, this will happen. And then he said, I could tell them that I fit, and they're like, yes, you can. And, like, basically telling him, don't fib, fibbing is wrong. And so he basically just come clean to his friends. They're like, we know, because you weren't doing it. And he uh, ends up baking a pie of flies and eating them. And then he was going to tell them, they're like, Ralph Franklin, what else can you do? And he was going to tell them, he's like, I could eat two pies full of flies in under a minute and then he decided not to do that and then they all just started to go play and have fun with each other at the end i absolutely love franklin these were i've loved these books so much i actually have one more franklin book that i could probably read to my son um i have an arthur book that's on my list that i could probably read to him also I have a bernstein bears book so um uh, so we're gonna switch over to the uh, bingo board. So I like. So I'll show you which prompts um, Franklin knocks off. Okay, let's switch to the bingo board. Okay, friends, this is the bingo board. Sorry for the shadow, but it's just gonna have to be there. So this Franklin prompt works for wild thornberries. Read a book with talking animals. For me, it can also work for publish read a book in the year you were published because that franklin book was published in 1991 and i was born in 1991 um it also can work for say by the, the bell read a book with a great group because franklin and his, his friends are a really great group um what else can it work for I think that's it. Um, yet again, we're still pretty close to a bingo. So, let's see what happens. I don't know if it works for As Told by a Ginger. I would have to look that up, which is a read a coming of age book. I don't think it works for that. Um, but I am going to use, because I have an Arthur book, I want to use it for the year I was published. So I don't want to mark that one off just yet. So I think it's just going to be these two. There was no element on the cover for this. So I can't use that. And then... It was an adventure. It's not a BIPOC author. It's not a sci-fi or a mystery or... Read a book and verse. It's not a babysitter's club. It's not a comic book. Okay, so... That's what it's going to mark off. Um, I will see y'all later with a reading update for a dark and a dead and stormy night. Okay, bye. Hi, y'all. So I'm here to close off the vlog. So um, this is the end of the vlog. What I recap, what I read, I read Franklin Fibs. I read Mister Ho Mr. Hockey. Or no, I did not read that in this one. Oh my god, I read Franklin Fibs. I read... Uh, apparently I need to consult my book because I don't even know what I read. I read Fear Street and I read Monster Street. The third Monster Street. I read Fear Street Secret Bedroom and then I read Franklin Fibs. Uh, so sorry about all that. Um, but, uh... This is the end of the vlog. Uh, if you made it this far, leave me a turtle emoji for Franklin. And remember to be kind to each other. Always be safe out there. And always go on your next book adventure. I'll see you in the next one. Bye. About anything I could even learn how to love when I see the way you